You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, TSPN's Amador This Week's Out and About. This local television coverage is proudly brought to you by Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort. You're watching TSPN's Amador This Week Out and About. I'm Cam Merzlach on the mic. Tommy Fox on camera. We're for the annual Cannonball Run Car Show and Parade. Stick with us. It's going to be a great show. 1959 Apache Longbed. Now, this, I believe this is a Chevy vehicle. The 59, you can tell because it has the dual headlights. Uh, inside, small block Chevrolet, aluminum manifold, Edelbrock four barrel carburetor, uh, late model HEI distributor. Uh, let's see, when we come to the inside, nice pearl paint with the flames. I'm, I'm liking this uh, 59 Chevy. Custom interior, check this out. You can tell that somebody's gone to a far extent to make that happen. I always like in these older trucks, too, when they do the, the inlay on the bed. And it looks like here we've got some uh, uh, varnished oak under the uh, chrome steel straps. This is a 1959, obviously been lowered, custom wheels. This is a great truck. We have the pleasure of viewing this 56 Chevy pull into the show here. Your name? Uh, Ed Anderson. Ed, where are you from? Uh, Sonora. Okay. How'd you hear about the Volcano Cannonball Run Car Show? Uh, it's a local advertisement that uh, we had at one of our local car club meetings. Okay. Perfect. And we decided to come over, and this is my two-year project. Just got it out of the garage. I got about 1,700 miles on it now. Oh, wow. Very, very clean. Uh, looks like you got a, a billet steering wheel. A billet steering wheel, and I put uh, a custom bucket seats in it uh, with a console that I designed and laid it out. And uh, it's got a 700R trans with a stock uh, 350 crate motor in it. Great. Is, the, is that the factory uh, ride height, or have you lowered it? Uh, it's a little bit modified because I wanted to put uh, a little bit larger wheel in the back, and it's got the California rake on it. Sure. So it rides really good. Were you into the uh, shoebox Chevys when you were a kid? No, I've been a Ford man all my life, and my, my <laughs> what happened? <laughs> my friends came by and says, "Hey, Ed, you got to look at this nice '56." And so I went over and looked at it, and it was really, really good uh, condition. There was no uh, rod in the body, and there were four bolts holding it down on the frame. And so I brought it home and started working on it. Yeah. Two-year project. And as I look down the uh, the sheet metal, very, very straight. Yeah, thank you. It's a lot of hours on the bodywork, uh, block sanding, and if you know anything about bodywork, it's it's time and energy. <laughs> right. All the times in the body work, not necessarily the spring. And, and don't talk about the money around my wife, okay? Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, we know that drill. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks for talking with yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. No stranger to TSPN, Vince DeSector. How are you doing? Good. Great. Good day here in Volcano. Good day. It's a nice day. You got your uh, grandson here? Yeah, he's trying to give you a high five. Give me five. Give him knuckles now. Give me knuckles. Oh, oh too thank cute. <laughs> too cute. Amy's boy, how old is he? Two years old. Two He'll be years. two in, in a couple weeks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, the time just flies. Cute kid. Yeah, yeah, that's it looks like he's got his mom's hair. Yeah, he does. <laughs> well, Grandma had that hair. Oh, Grandma had that, too. So did I when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, now we're... Little little girl, little, little fox, little silver, <laughs> the silver fox. <laughs> Have a good day, Vince. How you guys doing? Real good. Good. Take care. Thank you. Looking at a '48 Chevy. This is you talk about custom paint. Uh, man, this is like a. Um, it looks like it has pearl tones to it, and it looks like they've maybe added a darker color in the uh, in the paint scheme. Incredible, uh, clean interior. This this is uh, wow. This is a very very nice car. We'll find the owner to this car in a little bit and come back and talk to him, Tommy, because this is uh, just special. We found Gil Gonzalez. He's from Pioneer, and he's the owner of this 59 Mercedes. Now, Gil, you don't normally see a Mercedes at a car show. No, you don't. Right, and, and that's one of the reasons that I always like to talk to you about this. Plus, it's a 59. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, you, know, you see Mercedes from the 80s and 90s and today, but rarely do you see these old ones. It's a real classic. Where did you find the car? In Georgetown. Georgetown, and then yeah. you went and put a, uh, a different engine in it. Yep. I didn't. I had a fabricator put in, uh, stuffed in a 302 Ford. <laughs> stuffed is the right word, yes. too. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you have an idea of the horsepower on this car? Oh, it's stock. It's probably only 200, 250, something like that. 250. Do you know how many horsepower the car came with originally? 
No, no, I don't. But probably not 250. No, because it's it's all stripped and just has the basic stuff on it. Okay. But I, when I I'm gonna pump it up eventually and you know make make some more horsepower. <laughs> I mean, we're never satisfied. Right, right. How long have you been working on the car? About seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Well, it's a, uh, it's a it's a pleasure to see this car. I love the two-tone paint mm -hmm. and the idea that you did put the uh, small block mm -hmm. Ford engine in it. Sure, um, just, I love it. <laughs> Quick plug, uh, potable water service, Speedy's. Oh, Speedy Gonzalez potable water service. I provide water for swimming pools and for storage tanks. Okay, and you're very good. 295-7129. Hey, the parade's about to start. Thanks okay, for talking with us. Very like good. The parade Thanks. is starting, and we've got, I see the uh, Boy Scouts flag. I see the uh, Amber County flag. I see singing Jack McGee here, saluting. There you go. Big Jackie. And this is the fun about this parade. A lot of kids, bucket drums. Look at this. Kids on scooters. All right. And the unicycle. Look at the unicycle coming. You always got to have that. All the kids are dressed up. Whoa, whoa. Look at this one, Tommy. All dressed up. Festive for the celebration of Independence Day. Look at that with the kid in the back. More bucket drums. Here we come. Ice cold water, one dollar. That's a great idea. Looks <laughs> like we got Paul Revere coming. Maybe I'm not sure. We're we'll take a look here. Some some uh, vintage dresses here on the ladies. Wendell Pert is the name. Hi guys, you're on TV. Oh, great. <laughs> I want to sign, too. I'm June Weatherby. June Weatherby. Oh, my God. Hi. So we got an old Ford truck coming up, Tommy, and it's a license plate Jurisec. Sierra Mountain Home Furnishing and Gifts out of Pioneer. Look at that. Look at that. Sierra Nevada Guns for Hire. Old West reenactments. Look at that. Wonder they got their six shooters. I bet they do. He's got it on the side there. No, nobody better uh, mess around with this guy. What? Give me one of those. Wah Snap me. There we go. A little baby pony. Independence Day Parade in Volcano, California at the Cannonball Run Car Show 2012. Up next, we got the Volcano Theater. Let's see, I see uh, Joe Sveck here in the uh, jailer outfit, and Bob is one of the directors who's in the center. Let's see who else we recognize here. Mr. Sveck. Now, is this a costume, or are you actually uh, in trouble today? <laughs> I'll go with both. Okay. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Up next, we got E. Clampus Vitus, James W. Marshall, number 49 outpost. These guys usually have a little bit of fun. I, look, I see Colin Frost there. And, yay! There's my guy, Matt Havens. Matt Havens enjoying himself here. We encourage you to stand on our, on your head to read our sign. <laughs> right. If you're a clamper, write that up. Right, if you're a clamper. Because stumbling is a stability. Right. <laughs> Where is Ruth Gossie? Stumbling is stability. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the beer world. You know what? Here's my birthday. 
Here we go. We've got uh, Andy Astoretto here on the uh, the mule. It looks like very nice looking mule. Thank you. Where are you guys from? We're uh, right here in Amador County, local television. Oh, where's uh, Sue and Tom? You're, you're uh, va kids? Vacation. <laughs> Is this the uh, Kit Carson Mountain Men? Yeah. 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 And your name? Rotten John. Rotten John and uh, J uh, Iron Jaw. <laughs> Iron Jaw. No, no, no. Iron Jack. Iron Coke for me. I couldn't say it quick enough. <laughs> and on on top of your uh, hat here is a. That's uh, my buddy, Yote. Yeah, Yote? Yeah, for a coyote. That's a badger he's got. Hey, Dan, this guy messed with the Roadrunner, I think, is what happened, right? Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how's so, it doing? Good. So the Kit Carson Mountain men uh, bet. live in the old days of the Old West? Well, we're living anyway. We're almost as old as the West. Well, I'm still living the old life, not because I want to. It's because I live up between those two hills. There you go. Uh, hey, we'll continue on to the parade, and thanks for showing up. By myself. <laughs> Looks like the next entry is from the Gold Country Flyers. You know, I'm pretty well versed on vehicles, but I'm kind of for a loss on this. A so Studebaker, there we go. You're watching Amador County's local television network. TSPN. And now back to Amador This Week. From the Pine Grove camp here. I think it's really important, Tommy, that the uh, the people show the appreciation to these boys that are at the, the Pine Grove camp to let them know that they're being appreciated for the service they're giving and, uh, you know, looking forward to them uh, recreating their life in the future outside of incarceration. Next, we've got, a, it looks like it's an engine block, but this is going to be a barbecue. I've seen one of these before. Let's talk to Bob real quick. How you doing, Bob? Good, Cam. How are you? Good to see you. I was saying, this looks like an engine, but tell us what it actually is. It's a barbecue do donated by Camp's Propane. We're, okay. we're plugging my old company here. Right. So. There you go. <laughs> so uh, you're selling tickets. It's a raffle? Yeah, selling tickets for a dollar a piece or 25 tickets for $20 bill. When's the drawing going to be held? 3 o'clock this afternoon at the oh, awards. 3 o'clock today. Somebody's going to get it. Somebody's going to have it. That is just like one of the coolest things ever. I mean, you talk about a guy that wants to have a good time at a good barbecue. Nothing better than, what is it, a small block Chevy? Small block Chevy. What's it actually made out of? It's aluminum. Oh, okay. It's all aluminum, yeah. What, what's the, the value on something like this? Uh, retail, they're retail on it up there for seven ninety nine. So right, okay. that's a good deal. Yeah, somebody's got it. How you doing, Patrick? I'm very good. Good to see you. You selling tickets today? Oh yeah, I'm just selling your ticket. Oh yeah, yeah. well you know, I, we love to talk to you when we come to Volcano, and uh, this is a really neat barbecue. Yeah. Do you wish you had one of those? Oh yeah, I wish I had one. <laughs> I wish I had one too. Better buy some tickets, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm gonna. Thanks a lot, Bob. All right, Cam. Twin Cedar Canine. Looks like we got the, the group here. 
What's that? It's a twin seater canine Yankee Doodle Doggies. Yeah, not doggies. quite so precision, precision okay. drill team. Perfect. Alrighty, you bet. There's a little bit of dog obedience going on here. Hey Tommy, the 60s VW. This I forget what it's called, but this is the uh, <laughs> This is the hippie truck, is what we'll call it. This is, a, uh, Gavin actually had the van version of one of these. These are really, you're not surprised, are you? Twin seater canine. This is a, uh, it's either a 66 or seven. Look at that with the original Anderson BW tags. Nice. like it's a uh, Club Borba. What happens at Club Borba gets put onto a t-shirt. Kind of like that. Here's the Union. In fact, Tommy, we're standing in front of the Union. Here's the float for the Union, the Volcano Union. <laughs> They're blowing bubbles at you, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, you're about to get run over by a fire truck. the Lockwood Fire Department up there by Hale Road. Next we got Traverso Tree Service here. And they are the actually the VBO is their entry name. Here's dad videoing in the back with the uh, iPad here. Like up next, we got Rubini Tree Service here. We know these guys. Look at the bar on this chainsaw up on the top. We talk about some serious cutting. Hey guys. Tommy, up next we've got the uh, old international, I believe, truck from, or maybe it's a Ford from a Volcano Telephone. They use this in parades, they use it in the Parade of Lights, but it's a, uh, it's a really neat custom old vehicle that would, would be used for uh, telephone service back in the, uh, in the days. It's a Ford F500 with Volcano Communications. Next up, John Scheimer here with looks like an old uh, old fire truck. Back in the days, we got the, it's kind of neat, the old parade. We've got the old fire truck, the old telephone truck. Entry 21, Daisy May and a little golden retriever. How you doing, Daisy? 
doing good. Yeah, so this is, are you Daisy or this dog? This is Daisy. Oh, okay, just, just kind of checking. How old Daisy, is Daisy? Daisy was born in November, so she's not even a year old yet. Oh, wow. So That's, she's trying to be a just, good trade dog. Well, I'm sorry, just the cutest little dog. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, thank thanks you. for bringing her. Sure. A couple of local guys, actually brothers here today, Don, Richie, and your brother, and your name again? Dave. Dave, Dave and Don. Kind of got a, got a kind of close names. We, yeah. Kind of, Anyways, uh, here at the car show today, check yeah. them out. Yes, down here in Volcano, it's nice. You know, I, uh, every car show I come to, I seem to run into Don. In fact, I called him and I thought, oh, I probably don't even need to call him. I bet he's going to be here anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Breakfast at Mills and car show in Volcano. Right. I think you're a photographer. I was a photographer. Okay. Yeah. And um, what, what kind of subjects did you shoot? We did people. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, we did guys' wedding. Right, did, that's what... Uh, guys, Martin, Martin, right. We had a lot of weddings up oh, here really? before we moved away. Wow, yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah. And um, where'd you move to? Moved to uh, Vacaville and then San Luis Obispo area. Okay. Yep. And now are you back in the county? I'm back here. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Hanging out with your brother and yep. uh, having yep. a good time. You betcha. Any favorite car here today? Uh, I like that one with the uh, motor popping out, the dragster down there. What is uh, that, Vass? Uh, I don't know, some low, low rider, low a very rider. fast low rider. Big <laughs> tires in the back. Well, see, Dave just called Don Bass, and I, I knew you as Bass. <laughs> and what, what tells the, the, the meaning or the reason behind the nickname? Oh, my brothers gave me that nickname a long time ago because they thought I was slow and lingered in the kill. <laughs> was that it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? See, I thought it was uh, fish on was what my take was going to be on uh, and, uh, it. And it just goes way back is all I can say. Yeah, Bass. Bass. Well, we, I still call you Bass. Yeah. I guess you're the, from the old school, you call this guy Bass. Yeah, if you're from way back, that's... <laughs> if you're cool, you can call me Crab. 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 <laughs> bass and Crab. Crab guy, and it goes with my personality. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say is, lobsters on your piano are better than crabs on your organ. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> uh, Don, you got any uh, favorite car here today? I don't know. We kind of just haven't seen them all, but uh, yeah, they're all good. I know you're into the uh, 55, 56 yes. trucks. I got a hankering for trucks. Right. And you've got actually a couple of them yourself. I do. I've got a couple of Chevy trucks. Okay. And what years are they? I got the 54 and I got a 55. 54 and a 55. Yeah. Well, they're uh, both nice machines. Great years. I love those myself. And yeah. That's just one of the things that we have in common. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for talking with us. See you All later. Right. We've come across the rare Buick. This is a 61. Uh, you know, kind of similar to the Chevy, maybe like a, like an Impala, but this is a Buick. Uh, very interesting front uh, sculpting there with the front fender and the, uh, the bumper there. Red interior. Looks pretty much factory other than the ride height. Looks like they've lowered it and put it on some uh, American Racing aluminum wheels. But it's a uh, 61 Buick owned by John and Laura Konas. We're here with Terry Henry. Terry, where are you from? Sacramento. Sacramento. They, you know, I would just ask somebody, what's your favorite car here? And they said, the one with the big engine sticking out of the hood that <laughs> looks like a dragster. Tell us about your car. Well, this was an 11-year project. Okay. And uh, I built everything here myself, uh, except painting it and upgrading it. Uh, I built the motor in my wife's pantry. So it was just a, but it was a long project. I would uh, go home at night and uh, work on it, and then the uh, next day I'd come home and I didn't like what I built the, the night before, and I would cut it apart. And uh, that's probably the why it was an 11-year project. Okay. Originally, what did the car start out as? Uh, 48 Oldsmobile. Okay. There's a picture of it right there. It was a 48 Oldsmobile coupe. Okay. And there's a conglomeration of 48, 49, and 50 Oldsmobile parts on this car. Is it on a tube chassis? It is. Okay. I, built, I built the chassis. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now back to Amador This Week. parts on this car. Is it on a tube chassis? It is. I built I built the chassis and in my garage and uh, it's a it's a low dollar car. Really? You would you would never know by looking at it. Uh, it looks like you got a blown uh, big block Chevy. Yes, it is. A 454, 30 over, 461 inches. Got uh, big block heads, uh, big rectangular, uh, big camshaft, all four bolts, uh, block, steel crank, uh, roller rockers, titanium valves, all the good stuff. Yeah, all the now on the back here, where the the wheel tub, if, if Tommy can swing around to the back here, 
Th this is a modification to the body here? Yes, it is. Okay. That was uh, kind of an inspiration from the 60s and the drag racing years when they had the big tires like this, but they couldn't get the car low enough, right. and so they would take and tub the outside. So. Yeah, just great. And then if Tommy can go inside from this side and look at the original picture of the 48 when you first got started, that is uh, just amazing. And, you, and I can't believe you're calling this a, a low-dollar project. It, I guess maybe because you did a lot of the work yourself? Exactly. If a guy would have to try and build something like this, he would be, you know, major money. Yeah, 100 grand, I would have uh, Probably three. 300. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, sorry for underestimating. It's, <laughs> That's all it, right. It's just, uh, you know, just unbelievable. A ever take it to the uh, drag strip or? No, I used to do drag racing and I got out of it because I got tired of tearing things up. So I a lot of inspiration from uh, the drag racing days and so forth like that. But uh, other than that. Any estimation on how many horsepower that big block puts out? I can make 800 by, wow. ch by changing the pulleys. I can put sure. more pressure. In. Sure. And then what you do is you put a smaller one on the top? Uh, yes. Where the blower spins more than the crankshaft? Exactly. Yeah. I thought it's been yeah. around see, the scene see, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that definitely makes the difference. Yeah. But <laughs> you, you underdrive it because sure. we drove from Sacramento this morning. There was, oh, really? There was 12 of us that drove up from Sacramento. You ever uh, try to calculate the miles per gallon that this vehicle gets? Uh, it does pretty good. I got 14 here not too long ago. Really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. I used to have a Pro Street 55 Chevy, mm -hmm. and I could somewhere around 10, uh -huh. you know, but uh -huh. it's... Yeah, you put taller gears in, you put enough horsepower in it, and you're just idling the motor, Right, basically. yeah, you're just barely yeah. on the throttle. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for talking with us, Terry. This is a uh, show favorite of mine, I'll call it right now. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. It. You want to hear it, bro? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Terry's in this 48 Olds. We're going to start this big block Chevy up. Too bad. Thanks a lot, Terry. Well, we said that it was a barbecue. We weren't lying. It did look like a small block Chevy V8, but check it out. It's an actual barbecue. We've got a dad here's buying 20 tickets. Right. He's hoping to get it. Maybe we can ask. Him. What's your name, sir? My name is Brandon. Brandon, where are you from? Sacramento. Sacramento. What brought you here to Volcano? Uh, my father-in-law. Okay. He's helping with the raffle. Great, great. And you're going to hopefully take this thing home? For my other father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, hope you win. Yeah, thank we, you. We found Art here with this black Studebaker. A couple of interesting things going on. What, uh, I guess we'll say, what years is it? <laughs> years? Well, if I say it's a 53, people argue with me. And if I say it's a 59, I get other people arguing with me. So, you know, it, either one. Okay, so what's the uh, power plan under the hood? It's a stock V8, 259 or so. But I put so I've added some horsepower in the bottle. Right, Tom. If you want to swing around to the back, sometimes at the dentist office they use this. Sometimes in the car they use this. Tell us what this blue bottle is in the back of the trunk. Okay, it's called nitrous oxide, but it's not medical grade. But what it does is it cools the the uh, fuel in, intake charge, so it, it get more fuel into the engine. And it's like an extra 150 horsepower. Right, and those uh, I've had those on my vehicles before, and they are definitely just the touch of a button. Yeah, instantaneous power. Yeah. Right, automatic. What a what a great car. Where are you from? I'm from West Point, across the river. Okay, and you're here in Volcano and enjoying yourself. Got the nice spot in the shade. Nice spot, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't beat that, huh? Yeah, it did take me long to get here. Right. <laughs> on the uh, is it your exhaust has a special uh, skull uh, insignia on the back? Tell us about that. Yeah, a uh, little hot rod shop north of Chicago that uh, had those made up special for them as a promotional thing, and, and uh, so yeah, nobody else, uh, I, nobody else that I've seen has anything like that around here. Right. Uh, it's always neat to have something that's original that it's only special to your vehicle that nobody yeah. else has. Yeah. What a neat little touch. Thanks for talking with us, Art. Well, thank you. We're looking at here is a 1966 Ford Cobra. This is what you call a lot of horsepower in a little bit of car. If you see these going around, this has a, uh, usually they have big block Fords with dual quad carburetors. The engine is set way back. It probably weighs under 2,000 pounds and could have somewhere around 500, uh, 600 horsepower. 
and I can tell you right now, Simpson uh, five-point harnesses. You're going to buckle in. you got a roll bar here. You are um, ready to go. 160-mile-an-hour speedometer. I'm not surprised. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I'll turn that off. Hey, that's all right. Who's this guy? Tommy Fox on camera. You know Tommy Fox. Hi, Tommy. How you doing? When are you going to get a real job? <laughs> huh? He, he has a couple of them. I know he does. So uh, you're here today, Volcano Cannonball Run? Little yes. A little bit of singing. We're here to uh, make it happen. A little bit of singing, Jack McGee. Exactly. Week. Enjoy some wine and some beer and uh, enjoy wine, the music. And some beer. And the pretty girls and the hot rods and... There's a, there's a pretty girl with us, but she just doesn't want to be on... Um, I mean, you realize we're outdoors, don't you? We are. That's a good thing. Absolutely. We heard your uh, rendition of the national anthem. Uh, very d well done. As oh, usual. say that one? That's it. Yeah, that one. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> I got them mixed up. Right. Singing Jack McGee here on the Volcano Cannonball Run. Thank you show. for coming by. Thanks for singing. You know, you stick this on the national net. You know, it's pretty good, huh? Yeah, absolutely. All exactly. worldwide coverage here, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, uh, TSBN recently has been promoting their videos, their shows on YouTube. You can go on YouTube and search for TSPN TV, and uh, all over the world they're watching us. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Well, pretty soon they're going to line Jack's pictures up with the ones at the post office. <laughs> you thought I could come to the country and hide, right? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah, they're going to have it. Check out his website, Megan'sLaw.com. <laughs> Man, you're hey, stop it, stop just it. Kidding, just yeah. kidding, Jack. Good to see <laughs> <laughs> Well, you go away. I'm working here. <laughs> right. The dog's calling him. Yeah, the dog's calling. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Here we are. We got Matt Havens. How you doing, Matt? Good, Cam. How are you? Buddy, again, your name? Cousin Joe. Cousin Joe here in... What you got here? Look at a brew. Look at the, 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 the right label on it for the, uh, the right day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Festive. Yeah, we saw you in the parade, the uh, clampers. Yeah, we were dedicated to Sesquicentennial uh, Bell. Yeah. Great, great. Tell us uh, what the clampers are involved with and what they do. Um, the the uh, members of Eclampus Vitus, commonly known as clampers, preserve and protect Gold Rush history, specifically California, Oregon, the western half of the United States. Uh, we, we erect plaques for historic places like the uh, Volcano Brewery directly behind us, and the Bell, and other places. Um, we're working hard to keep Amateur County's history alive. Great, good for you. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a little bit of, uh... In imbibing? <laughs> we imbibe a little bit. We like to have a good time. Yeah, we like to have a good time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was seeing the parades. Uh, we saw you here today, seeing the Sutter Creek Parade, the Veterans Day Parade. Yes. You know, always involved. We're, we try to always be involved. We've been involved in communities since 1850. 1850. That's probably one of the longest running uh, groups that are, you know, here. Uh, yes. Um, the great part about e Clampus Vitus is back in the gold rush, when uh, if you couldn't become an uh, Odd Fellow or an uh, Elk or whatever, you could become a, a member of the e, uh, Ancient Honorable Order of e Clampus Vitus because we take every gentleman. Perfect. Sounds like a... Uh, need to get signed up. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome, Ken. What we're looking at here is a 32 Ford, and the, the graphic scheme on here is called Real Fire. Rather than the, the traditional 50s-style flames with legs, they've actually gone and airbrushed different layers of transparent paints, translucent paints, actually, and they create what's called a Real Fire. So when you see this, that's what it's called, and it's like, I guess... The scenes at the Volcano Cannibal Run Car Show. I see a couple of beer cozies. I see those. Yeah. Haven't seen those really since the I 80s. A purple solo cup. A purple <laughs> solo cup. Where do you find a purple solo cup? Where you find the red solo oh. cup. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You know, and I learned something. If you can hold the cup up. I learned that there, these are actual, I mean, different measurements in the cup. Do you know about that? No. Oh, I, I'll I don't be a know. little smarter next time. Right, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I, I know that the different lines mean different uh, like measurements, right? Wine, like, wine, you started so here you and then you that I've had too much? <laughs> uh, no, we'll have to ask you. Have you had too much? No. Yeah, not, Never. Enough, not enough. Right? No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> now, the beer cozy, we've, um, we... Uh, this is from Coos Bay, Oregon. Oh, there you go. And... Why aren't you there right now? We're going in September, okay. <laughs> and we do. We drive the cars. Can I ask your name? Margo. Margo. And this, uh, the, the, the Cozy was a popular thing in the 80s, I remember, mm -hmm. like uh, old Milwaukee beer. Of course, I was under 21, but I saw adults, of course. And the, 
Does it really keep the beer cold? It does, but we don't. It doesn't stay in there that long. We we have to drink it really fast. <laughs> straight, straight out of the chest. Let it go down. Enjoy. This is, this is the beer, beer drinker. Here. Okay, beer drinker. you are. Famous. What kind of beer are you drinking? I'm drinking Bud Light. Okay. That um, is light beer or lighter. I'm not a beer drinker. I drink wine. Well, it's supposed to be less calories. Okay. So it makes you skinnier, I guess. <laughs> you, can drink, you can drink more of it for the, for the allowed more. calories. You can have, have more beer. Right? Yes, I can. Back here, got the salami, the cheese, a little yeah. bit of uh, maybe cream cheese for crackers. Looks like some chips. This is behind the scenes at the Cannibal Run. The guys are out messing with the cars. The ladies are. But we're going to go shopping. This is the uh, uh, car owner from for this one. Okay, well, maybe we can bring the car owner out. Would you like to talk to us about your flamed up car here? Your name, sir? Ronnie. Ronnie, where are you from? Stockton. Stockton. How would you find out about the Cannibal Run? Uh, okay. My first trip. Perfect. What kind of car do we have here? 33 Ford, two-door. All steel. Tell us about the... Uh, well, first it was black chair. I had the flames put on about three years ago. You've been working on. Oh, uh, I finished this one in 2000. Okay. Now the car next to it, a similar paint job. Is that uh, somebody you know? No, I don't. No, he did a nice job on that too. Yeah. Thanks for talking with us. And, uh... You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now back to Amador this week. Found a pretty trick setup here on this uh, 49 Chevy. Your name? Martin Meeks. Martin, where are you from? Stockton. Stockton. And uh, I think, have you brought this truck here before? Oh, yeah. I've yeah. been here many years. Yeah, I think I've maybe even talked to you. Tilt front end. How do you how do you make the tilt front end? Uh, I just have to have a pivot point in front and then uh, make sure everything <laughs> works right. right. Everything fits back down yeah. flush. Is that something they kind of did in the 50s? Uh, no, not really. It's kind of a newer thing with the tilt front end. Okay. And it looks like you've got a uh, small block Chevy. Yeah, 383 stroker. Okay, there you go. 400, 400 horse. Yeah. Is that the uh, 400 crankshaft and the 350 block? Yeah. yeah it's a uh, very torquey motor. Looks like you've got a uh, air conditioning pump? Yep. So yep. Uh, just a bit. I'm missing one part, but I pretty much plumb for air conditioning. Okay. Looks like you got some uh, leather bucket seats in here. Yep. Yeah. We just redid that uh, two years ago, okay. the interior. Kind of a neat setup, a 40s truck. Looks like you've got late model mirrors. Yes, they came, actually they are off of a Ford. Okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. On a Chevy. <laughs> that works, that works. A lot of times you see guys putting Chevy motors and Ford trucks. So, you yeah. know, and when you're talking about something custom like this, it's okay to interchange. Yeah, I, I was find, trying to find a mirror that matched the design of the truck, so it all rounded, and sure. so it no, matched it, nice. It fits perfectly. Yeah. It, it is a late model mirror, though? Yes. What's yes. it from? Uh, I believe it was from a... Uh, like a sable, Ford okay. sable, yeah, wow. Taurus. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I also like here on the back of the fender where you kind of molded in a back piece. Yeah, it's to close it up so it looked like it's right. finished instead of just right. whacked it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Special touch there. As we get towards the back, you've got a uh, wood inlaid bed here. What kind of wood do we have? Uh, oak. Oak. Okay. I uh, built that all myself. Okay. A lot of people think it came from a door, but I built it completely myself. Perfect. Then it looks like you put to the back here a custom uh, trailer that you kind of yep. go with you? Yeah, it's uh, 1949, same year as my truck refrigerator. Oh, wow. Uh, GM. Okay. So, is again, it, is it an actual working refrigerator? No, no, it's for storage and stuff. Okay. Look at that kind of slide back, almost like a roll top desk. Yeah, yeah, and I built all that mm -hmm. because you can't put all this stuff in the back of the truck, so, so you got I a, built this. A lot of uh, ingenuity going on here. What do you do for a, for a trade, or what did you do? I I am a, I work at U University Pacific. I do maintenance there. Okay. It would, it would seem that you are either a fabricator or a, a, a woodworker of some sort. Yeah, I, I'm building a couple of cars right now, and I do do woodwork, as you see. Right. It's kind of crafting. I like it. And you know what else I always like is on the back of the bed rails when the guys flatten those off. I think it's the same as your uh, your fender there. Yeah. It just kind of finishes it off here. Welded it in, molded it all in, so it, everything flows. Great. Well, thanks for talking with us. Thank you very much. Yeah, there you we go. Could, we couldn't miss this. A little, uh, what was a little 50 dirt bike? Yep, it's a 50. Um, I think it's a 06 CR50, yeah. Okay. What's your name? Josh Gottstein. Josh, okay. I recognize you. Yeah. And uh, who do we have here? 
This is Sean, my son Sean. Okay. Can you say hi, Sean? Hi. Hi, I'm fun. Yeah, are you going to ride this dirt bike someday yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like dirt bikes? Yeah. I do too. How old are you? Six. You're six. No. <laughs> no? Two and a half. I was going to say. <laughs> He's like, see, Dad said when I was six I could ride it, so guess how old I am. Uh, I'm six. <laughs> I mean, I'm short, but come on, I'm not that short, Sean. <laughs> I can't believe, Josh, that you have a son. Yeah, I, man, I, I, you know what? It's just happening. I'm getting old. Is what it is. Yeah, you know, I. This is actually my youngest. I have a five-year-old too. Oh. Ben. I think I remember you taking uh, karate. Did you take karate? As a kid? I did. See, yeah, yeah. I got a, some of the memories still there. Coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Coming through. Uh, but well, this is kind of cool. So you're just getting them ready. Good thing wearing the helmet. I know some people may frown on it, but hey, you got to, you know, they got to experience stuff. So right, absolutely. Not out of first gear. Right, not out of first. Hey, and and uh, you have fun on this bike. When you get a little older, I bet you're going to be uh, riding around. Maybe you can take Dad for a ride. Yeah. He's already trying to. <laughs> Cute kid. Thanks for talking with us. Thank stuff. you. Been watching the TSPN TV coverage of the Volcano Cannonball Run Car Show 2012. This is my girlfriend Tanil. My mother is here. The Volcano Union Inn is calling my name. With that, I hope you had fun watching the TSPN TV television coverage. And it's time for the union. <laughs> Take care. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Amador This Week's Out and About has been proudly brought to you by Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort.